Greetings in the name of Christ. Today in chapel, we had a message that set off the beginning of a new year here at Kingswood. We took an Old Testament story about a rock that Samuel put in the middle of the road. He called it the rock of help. You may even know a song that has the word Ebenezer in it. That's actually the Hebrew for the rock of help. When asked why he put that rock there, Samuel said it's because up to now God has helped us. And that was the theme of what I presented today was that God helps us in times that our past leaves us somewhat uncertain about the future, but based upon the fact that up to now we can trust what God has done, we can live confidently as we move into the future. I hope the same for you in the year that is ahead. Today in chapel, Dr. Bentz talked about um, the Israelites uh, telling Samuel to cry out to God for them. What he does is he lays a stone and he calls it Ebenezer. Thus far the Lord has helped us. I couldn't help but think just going through how the Philistines kept attacking the Israelites. It was almost like going back to fears of my own life and how they might come back, but it was that proclamation, that, that declaration, putting that stone there, that, that thus far the Lord has helped us and he will keep helping us. Because right after he puts the stone there, it says, so the Philistines were subdued and did not invade Israelite territory again. And I thought that was just really, really cool. I had never noticed that before and I think that's something to think about more in, in our own lives too. In service today, uh, Dr. Bud Benz talked about Ebenezer's and um, what they were basically. And it was really kind of cool how he did it. He talked about how Samuel laid his Ebenezer down because at one point being attacked by the Philistines and everybody was worrying about the Philistines coming back to attack him. But what he did is he laid his stone down and he called it his Ebenezer. And he was basically saying, hey, this is a reminder of what God has done for us in the past against the Philistines. And then what he did is he related that to our lives. How many times do we have Ebenezer's in our lives where we look at him and we go, I remember what happened at this point. Or I remember that God was faithful at this point. And if we have those Ebenezer's, we can know that we have a future, we have something as well. And that's really what I took out of the chapel today. And it was awesome. 